All right, all right, all right. I think we're good for now. So here's the dealio here. We pretty much have been playing Yakuza like a dragon for about, um, oh, I want to say, four and a half hours, almost five hours. And we're just in chapter three. Here's my quick first impressions without really spoiling anything. So, this game is really good. It's really, really good. I have not played any of the Yakuza games. I know exactly what they're like. They're like Shenmue, but way over the top. And I know I would love them, but I just never got into them. This one is a sort of spin-off. It ties a little bit closer to the mainstream Yakuza's. It doesn't have a name. It doesn't have a numeric number tied to it. So it's not like seven or anything like that. It's just Yakuza like a dragon. So it's kind of like a spin-off, but who knows? It might tie into the other one. I don't know. But going into this game without playing the other ones at all, I'm loving it here. But I did play another Yakuza-like game before, which is Judgments. I did not finish it, but I played a lot of hours in that one. And a lot of the same stuff is still in here, you know? So if you like Yakuza games and you like RPGs, you're going to like this one no matter what. This is really good. The main character I love a lot. They have a lot of character building, really awesome story moments, and um, pretty good systems. Um, this is not an action game. It is more of a turn-based RPG. Like Dragon Quest, as you know, the main character even goes along the lines and says, "Hey, you know, I, I like to think uh, life like a, a, you know, a Dragon Quest game." So this is all about leveling up your character via turn-based battles. You have HP, you have mana pool, you have skills that you learn, you have a job that you can switch out, and you can upgrade the job's rank to earn more skills and perks. You have items, consumables, you have buff temporaries, you have Phoenix Down sort of things. And you have gear, so you can also, you know, wear different weapons, hats, uh, you know, chest plates, feet, accessories. Um, there's like parties, you can get people in and out. They can also have different sort of moves and stuff like that. This game is all over the place. I have barely tapped, jumped a little bit into it, and there's a lot more stuff. There's a lot more stuff. So, as the first impressions, without spoiling anything, I really like the game. It's good. And. I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. Um, the only thing that sucks is I looked at the DLC and some stuff, even though it's mostly costumes, there was like some cool things locked in the DLC. And that is two jobs. Like, like I said in this game, you can grab a job, equip it, and level it up by just fighting. But there's like two jobs locked in there. That sucks. Why they just put it in the game, dude? Put it in the game, please. Please. So I can't wait because, you know, there's like extra side missions here. There's obviously like arcades in here. There's like Virtua Fighter 5 in there. I was checking out. I was spending some money in the claw, in the, in the claw machines there. There's a ton of things to do. Uh, there's like go-karts. There's slot machines. You can do base management later. There's a lot of stuff. I highly, highly recommend it. And I can't wait to play more. I can't wait to play more. I'll be putting this quick little first impressions over on the YouTube channel. Make sure if you guys want to watch the whole thing, come on by Twitch. There's a link down below. And of course, I'm uploading all of it in easy, digestible parts on the Let's Play VOD channel, as I usually do. So that's it. Great game. It's freaking like almost 1 a.m. here. It's 12 p.m. 12 a.m. First day, five-ish hours. I'm going to keep playing. It's a good game. Playing it on the Steam PC. It's a great game. Oh, you might cave in. Hey, it's on PC. It's good. Very good. Okay. That's it for tonight, though. Five hours, almost 1 a.m. I'll be playing this all the way through. It's such a cool game.